Hi and welcome to Volleyball One on One. I'm very excited to be introducing one of our newest coaches, Gary Sato. I've had the pleasure of knowing his family when I arrived in this country fresh off the boat. I met them in Santa Monica at one of their very famous uh, family uh, volleyball beach parties. Uh, he is the assistant coach to the United States men's national team and he has been involved with volleyball for years from coaching uh, the 88 as well as 84 Olympic teams? Uh, 92. 92 Olympic teams, excuse me, as well as being uh, the coach of the year uh, in 85. So Gary, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. And uh, he's gonna share uh, some great tips today with you. So. Thank you. Uh, what I'd like to talk about right now is about becoming a better student of the game. You know, my brothers and sisters and I, uh, we're, you know, I'm about 5'8", if I'm pushing it, but uh, my sister is 5'3", and my brother is 5'11". Uh, and uh, all three of us were on the Olympic teams in 88 and 92, uh, representing our country, and we were very proud to do it. Sometimes we're called the first family of volleyball, but uh, so our, our lack of um, height, uh, you know, was not uh, a great advantage, but we used it to our advantage by being quicker and studying the opponent so that we knew what they were gonna do be like two or three steps ahead of them before they even knew what they were doing. So, uh, what I'm going to recommend to you is to study uh, your opponents as much as you can, read as much as you can about volleyball, watch film, attend volleyball camps, and maybe even pick out a role model that, that uh, someone that uh, you think has, has done well in volleyball that you would uh, like to find out what they did along the way to become the great volleyball player that they are. Uh, for me, I've uh, had some role models. I had, the, I was fortunate enough to work with Marv Dunphy, the current uh, volleyball coach at Pepperdine University. Uh, back in 1978, we won the NCAA championship, uh, the first ever for the school. I was an assistant coach now, and I learned quite a bit. Uh, but he was a student of the game. He uh, did his doctorate on John Wooden, the famous John Wood, Wooden basketball coach at UCLA. And uh, he used to tell me that when he was young, he used to think he was uh, Coach Marv Wooden, but then he, he realized that he had to coach and be himself. Uh, so so uh, I also had the pleasure of working with Marv in the, in the Olympics when we won the, the 85 World Cup, the 86 World Championship, and the, uh, the uh, gold medal at the 88 Olympic Games. So uh, another coach that I uh, also was Al Skates, the legendary Al Skates from UCLA. His cool, calm, collected demeanor and, and calculated uh, maneuvers during the game I won many championships. And I, I, I loved uh, observing the way that he could uh, uh, control a match uh, and make all the right moves. Also had the pleasure of coaching many of the great, all-time great volleyball players in the United States. Uh, from Craig Buck, Steve Timmons, uh, my brother, and uh, and a, a gentleman that I call him the living legend, uh, also known as the computer, Karch Karai. Uh, Karch was his work ethic and the way he approached the game is legendary. I think uh, he wanted to be the best at everything. He was even the best shagger in the gym. So uh, with that kind of uh, industriousness, I think that he'll also be a great volleyball coach since he's currently coaching, uh, assistant coaching our women's national volleyball team this point in time. So be a great volleyball student of the game uh, and get out there and play as much as possible. Well Gary it's really a pleasure to have you on the team. We're all really excited to see your videos. Make sure you check out all of Gary's videos on volleyball101.com. Thank you. Thank you.